welcome and please be seated. Good afternoon. And good afternoon. I'm Kelly Smith, Dean of the College of Pharmacy, and I welcome you today to commencement exercises for the Doctor of Pharmacy class of 2021 at the University of Georgia. I also welcome you to Stegman Coliseum, home to many UGA athletic, entertainment, and other collegiate and community events. Because of this great facility, we are able to be together for commencement, together while continuing to demonstrate our commitment to public health. This brings me great joy, as I know it does for all of you, especially those of you seated before me. We've certainly faced many challenges, yet our collective spirit of tenacity and perseverance has allowed us to soar to unexpected heights and to even gather safely for today's important occasion. I'd like each of you to meet my colleagues on the stage. Colleagues, if you will please stand when I introduce you. Dr. Terry Davidson, the College of Pharmacy's distinguished alumna for 2020, who led our processional. Dr. S. Jack Hu, Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost of the University of Georgia, who will confer the degrees presented today. Dr. William Wong, faculty member and outgoing president of the College of Pharmacy Alumni Board. Doctors Larry All, Tricia Brannon, Rusty May, and Brian Seagraves, faculty members in the College of Pharmacy who will hood our graduates. Nicholas Roselle, class president of the Doctor of Pharmacy class of 2021. Dr. Michael Bartlett, the Georgia Athletic Association Professor of Pharmacy and Associate Dean for Science Education, Research and Technology. And Dr. Duk Do, our Assistant Dean for Student Affairs. Today, we are also joined by several other College of Pharmacy faculty and staff, and rumors include that is also uh, Dean Emeritus Spain Uya in the crowd. Um, I'm hopeful that each of you, faculty or staff members, if you have not been introduced yet, to stand and wave so that we may recognize all of you. Graduates and attendees, please join me in giving all of these folks a hand of applause. <laughs> Graduates, today is the culmination of years of your hard work, years of endless studying, studying, or what seems to be years, and working to improve your ability to practice as pharmacists, years of establishing relationships that I guarantee will last a lifetime, years that have finally resulted in receiving your Doctor of Pharmacy degree. You did this. You earned this. From here, you will venture out into a host of opportunities in the field of pharmacy, including jobs, residencies, fellowships, graduate programs, and positions we've never dreamed of that you will soon invent and lead in our profession. Each of you today is a different person than the one who first donned a white coat when you entered the PharmD program. You have been transformed transform not just into a pharmacist, but into a servant of humankind. Accept this transformation as a privilege with humility and with the honor that the title pharmacist bestows upon you. Now, as a graduate of this very College of Pharmacy, I can attest to the importance of a support system, a team. Get the concept? We are in a coliseum here, the importance of team. I know you've had a team that has helped you earn your pharmacy degree. To your family, friends, and loved ones who have been on a support team for a graduate today, thank you. Thank you to your, those team members who have made sacrifices and really strengthened your graduates. While as faculty we have taught them pharmacy skills, you have taught them life skills. Graduates. I'd like you to stand now, please, 
turn and celebrate and applaud your own team members. Give them a shout out. This is the time to do so. And by the way, if you're wondering, our faculty and staff love you and support you just as much as those team members, and they are proud of you as anyone. They might not always admit it, but you know it's true. So let's just call it what it is. Graduates, I do encourage you to take this moment to acknowledge yourselves. Acknowledge the incredibly challenging and difficult journey you've completed. Take pride in your commitment, your hard work, and your determination. Pride in reaching this milestone. And most importantly, pride in committing yourself to the service of others through the profession of pharmacy. I am proud to call you my pharmacy colleague. Now, it is my distinct privilege to welcome Dr. S. Jack Hu to our podium. Dr. Hu was appointed Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost at the University of Georgia in 2019. In this role, he oversees instruction, research, public service and outreach, and information technology. His academic focus is in mechanical and manufacturing engineering, and he is a UGA Foundation Distinguished Professor in the College of Engineering. Provost Hu. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Dean Smith, for that kind introduction and for your outstanding leadership of the College of Pharmacy. The graduating students that we are celebrating today exemplify the commitment to academic excellence that defines the University of Georgia and the College of Pharmacy. I want to take this opportunity to recognize the faculty, staff, friends, and family members who have mentored and supported all of you the class of 2021. A year ago at this time, I addressed the college and conferred degree virtually from my home office with a Zoom recording. We have come a long way since then. I'm pleased that we can gather here in person to celebrate the resilience and dedication of our graduating students. This academic year has been a difficult one for many, it was filled with challenges and uncertainty. In the spring of 2020, our faculty and students had to rapidly adapt new ways of teaching, learning, conducting research, and serving our community. But we returned to fall operations through a mixed modality of in-person, hybrid, and online instructions in the fall, and we continued that till the spring. I'm proud to know that despite the many challenges of the academic year, our students continue to make progresses toward their degrees. In addition, the College of Pharmacy has been able to advance drug discovery, health outcomes research, and its service activities. One of the many lessons that the COVID-19 pandemic has been a reaffirmation of the vital role that pharmaceutical scientists and pharmacists play in our world. The rapid development of vaccines that successfully protect us against COVID-19 will likely be remembered as one of the great achievements of history. I want to emphasize that the success was built upon decades of research, both basic and applied ones, that have advanced our understanding of the viruses, the immune system, vaccine platforms, manufacturing, and logistics. Throughout the continuing pandemic, pharmacists have worked alongside other health professionals to provide high quality, compassionate, and patient-centered care. Pharmacists continue to play a central role in the global race to educate the public and administer vaccines. More than ever, Society needs expertise that you have gained through the classrooms and experiential learning that are offered by the College of Pharmacy. As you begin your careers and residency, I urge you 
to approach each day with renewed commitment to your profession and to the well-being of the people who have entrusted their health to you. As you grow professionally, I hope that you will remember the educational foundation that you receive at the University of Georgia and the people who have supported you. Stay connected with the College of Pharmacy and the University of Georgia and consider ways to give back to your alma mater. The fact that we are able to gather here today is a testament to the resilience of our faculty, staff, and students. Thank you all for your dedication and congratulations to all the graduates for earning your degree from the University of Georgia College of Pharmacy. Congratulations. Thank you, Provost Tu, for your inspiring remarks. We are certainly grateful for your presence here today. Now, it's my pleasure to invite Nicholas Roselle, President of the Class of 2021, to speak on behalf of today's graduates. Nick hails from my hometown of Statesboro, Georgia, and following his graduation, will be undertaking a fellowship with Novartis Gene Therapies in New Jersey. Please join me in welcoming Nick to the podium. Thank you. Thank you to Dean Smith, distinguished faculty, family, friends, and to you. Class of 2021. I'm Nick Rozell, and it gladdens me to be back in Athens today, here with you in this moment. This moment is golden with pride. One of these transformative moments that punctuates life because it represents growth and transformation and change. We change from student pharmacist to pharmacist, candidates to colleagues, when who we are is redefined. This is the destination, the peak long sought we've imagined so much it feels like a memory. But before it came a journey, a journey of long nights and early mornings, of day-to-day -day rigor, challenge, and failure, and growth. A journey punctuated by these golden memories like today, of accomplishment after a successful Farmtoberfest, after all the tents and tables were put away, of meeting a classmate for the first time, not knowing but feeling they would become one of your closest friends. Studying long hours on pharmacokinetics because we didn't get it the first time, or the second, or the third. But sometimes these golden moments come when you don't expect them. It was almost four years ago. I was sitting on a bench with one of you after our first finals, our first semester of pharmacy school. We were discussing how challenging the tests were and how glad we were just to have made it through how fast the semester went and how fast the rest of the journey would fly by, and boy, how he did it. And despite how innocuous it was to simply sit down, that golden memory, that conversation sitting in the shade on a bench outside a pharmacy staff would stick with me. Because it was in that simple moment that I realized how fast this journey would be and how precious our time would be together. Take a moment to recall those memories, golden that you've made and that we've shared over the last four years, small and large, moments that pushed you, that challenged you, moments filled with laughter and joy. These golden memories matter because they define and redefine who we are. They mark the path we walk in this life. It was over 10 years ago, we got the news you never want to hear. My mom was diagnosed with cancer. Now, where is the golden memory in that? Maybe I was too young to understand the gravity, but throughout treatment and recovery, I don't recall despair. I don't recall sadness, but I do remember the strength 
and support and the love of family and friends. And that selflessness when mom never stopped being mom, even when it was tough, that's where the golden memories are. Don't miss these moments, these memories that stick with us, that define us, even in the dark, especially in the dark. What are these moments in your life and where will we find them stepping forward? Will we find the gold memories in the dark valleys? Will we get the news no one wants to hear and illness and loss? Will we get them when we're stuck upon ridges we think are too steep for us to handle? Or when we're basking on peaks, enjoying sights we never expected? There's a whole world, a whole life out there, and it is loaded with these memories. And we've made many in the last four years. Moments grand and small, forged through effort, or hidden in silver linings in the dark, or made in simple moments shared. So when we walk from this place, we walk transformed. By this moment today, by the journey we've taken together, by what we've experienced and all we've learned, and we will carry this golden memory with us and all the golden memories we've made along the way so that we can draw upon them. The next time we face a challenge or when a friend gets the news no one wants to hear or when we find love and family or in the day-to-day -day walk to work or lunch with a friend, in the bus or in the pharmacy with a patient or a friend, we will find more golden memories ahead. But for now, today, be proud of our journey and remember this moment. Let us keep our eyes open looking for the golden memories we'll make next. Congratulations, class of 2021, and thank you. Well, thank you, Nick, for reminding us the, of the importance of these golden memories like today. And certainly your leadership and, and remarks remind us of that remarkable spirit of this very class, of these graduates seated before us today. I now invite Dr. Michael Bartlett, our Associate Dean for Science, Education, Research, and Technology to the podium to present the graduating class awards. Good afternoon. We have 17 awards to present this year to outstanding graduates in the class of 2021. Student recipients, please stand to be recognized when I call your name. Friends and family in the audience, please hold your applause until all awards have been announced. I will first announce our professional awards. The American Pharmacists Association Academy of Student Pharmacists Senior Recognition Certificate is awarded to a graduating student in recognition of their professionalism, excellence in patient care, service, and commitment to the profession. This year's recipient is Rebecca Brunning. The McKesson Award is given for an exemplary performance during clinical rotations. This year's recipient is Sydney Butler. The Viatris Excellence in Pharmacy Award recognizes high academic achievement, professional motivation, and motivation and unique ability to communicate drug information. This year's award goes to Lily Zhang. The National Community Pharmacists Association Outstanding Member of the Year Award is given to a student who exemplifies the spirit of independent community pharmacy. The recipient is selected by the local chapter and recognized by the NCPA National Office. It is an honor to present the 2021 National Community Pharmacists Association Outstanding Member of the Year Award to Courtney Gibson. The recipients of the Farm Dog Award given for outstanding service to the profession, college, and community are Alfred Awua, Victoria Hunt, Nina Murphy, and Brian Tran. The Red Fern Award for Professionalism and Community Service goes to Garrett Fawcett. 
the United States Public Service Excellence in Public Health Pharmacy Award is given to a graduating student for demonstrated commitment to public health and the pharmacy profession. This year's recipient is Hannah Azimi. I will now announce our Academic Excellence Awards. We have three recipients for this year's Merck Academic Excellence Award. Lauren Brewer, Martha Claire Collins, and Nicole Poirier. The Walters Kluwer Clinical Drug Information Award in Excellence in Clinical Communication, recognized for high academic achievement and outstanding communication skills, is awarded to our first honor graduate, Peyton Moon. Our last category of student awards are those of special recognition. The Durward N. Entrican Pharmacy Student Leadership Award is given to a student who demonstrates exemplary leadership. This year's recipient is class president, Nicholas Roselle. The Kenneth L. Waters Award for academic leadership, professional attitude, and service to the community is awarded to Yancey Murray. The Robert C. Wilson Award is given to a student who showcases professional integrity, personality, positive attitude, and intelligence. The recipient of this award is Rebecca Brunning. Let's congratulate all the recipients of this year's awards. Thank you, Dr. Bartlett. We will now begin the hooding of the graduates. I will introduce candidates, and Dr. Trisha Brennan and Dr. Brian C. Reyes will hood the first 62 candidates. As they cross the stage, fans and family in the audience, please hold your applause until the final graduate has been hooded. Will the first row of candidates for the Doctor of Pharmacy please come to stage? First, we will recognize the only graduate who has achieved a perfect 4.0 um, grade point average in the pre-pharmacy and doctor pharmacy program, Peyton Moon. Our next candidate is Arson Abramov. James Adams, Zai Amart, Magna Cum Laude, Michelle Animana, Alexis Artira, Magna Cum Laude, <laughs> Suzanne Evant. Cum laude. Alfred Ewua. Hannah Azimi, summa cum laude. Elena Baglini, cum laude. Yeah. 
Nanan Berry, Rebecca Bostick, Magna Cum Laude, Kylan Roddy, Lauren Brewer, Summa Cum Laude, Joe Brooks, Cum Laude. Dylan Brown, cum laude. Rebecca Brunin, summa cum laude. Kaylee Buckham. <laughs> Sydney Butler. Magna Cum Laude, Stephen Castellanos, Magna Cum Laude, Mihia Changela, Aaron Chu, Taylor Clifton. Martha Claire Collins, summa cum laude. Jasmine Corn, cum laude. Courtney Cosby, summa cum laude. Rhea Daniels, Jacob DeCamp. Hannah Dunn, Phong Dương. <laughs> Hannah Dyke, Summa Cum Laude. Savannah Eason. <laughs> 
Morgan Easterling, Holly Edison, Taylor Ellison, Garrett Fossett, John Fraser, Cum Laude. Courtney Gibson, cum laude. <laughs> Kaylee Ring, cum laude. Savannah Rose. Jenna Goley, Zachary Halbig, Magna Cum Laude. Cody Hempel. Lauren Hawkins, cum laude. So Niqua Hassan. Victoria Hunt. Song Wan Chong. Angeli Passat Jared. Bomik Chivon, Carolyn Jones, cum laude. Hey Liam Chung, summa cum laude. Andrea Camel. Adam Kelly. Julia Kim, summa cum laude. Song Su Kim, Magna Cum Laude, 
John Lim. Shun Min Lee, James Lee, Yiji Lee. Rachel Leong. He E Ling. Alex Lipscomb. Dr. Larry R. and Dr. Rusty May will hold remaining candidates. Jan Liu, Andrew McCarter, Magnum Cum Laude. Margaret McCarthy, Magna Cum Laude. Kylo Mueller, Magna Cum Laude. Muna Mohammed. Nina Murphy. <laughs> Elizabeth Yancy Marie. Jeffrey Marie. Brandon Myers, Summa Cum Laude. Joseph Nguyen, Cum Laude. Douglas Nof, Ashley Odom. Ann O'Gosby, Ann O'Young. Right. 
Sarah Peacock, cum laude. Justin Petway. Nicole Ploche, cum laude. Nicole Purio, summa cum laude. Ashley Postel. Cum laude, Connor Gregstor. Zini Ren, Cum laude, Rachel Rico, Magna Cum laude. Megan Riney, cum laude. Stacy Riz. Rook Roland, magna cum laude. Nicholas Roselle. Caleb Rush, summa cum laude. Alvin Samazi. <laughs> Kayla Saxton, magna cum laude. Campbell Scott, magna cum laude. Robert Shaw, cum laude. Lauren Shelton. Natalie Seibel. Steven Slack, cum laude. Cody Smith, Emily Smith, cum laude. Jake Stamey, Mallory Steele.
Kaylee Sumner, Magna Cum Laude, Ange Tatejo. Brian Trần, Jenny Nguyễn Trần. Anh Trịnh, Cum Laude. Anne Marie Rothamtail, cum laude. <laughs> Haley Vickery, magna cum laude. Andre Williams. Lindsay Waddell, Laura Way, Magna Cum Laude. Emily War, Magna Cum Laude. Andrew Ward, Magna Cum Laude. Stephanie Watson, Magna Cum Laude. Ellie Wono, Cum Laude. <laughs> Colton White, Victoria Willis. Michaela Winters, Mary Wolf, Magna Cum Laude. Lauren Wynn, Cum Laude. Hannah U, cum laude. Lily Chung, summa cum laude. Michael Joe. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you.
I now invite provost who to return to the podium to confer the doctor of pharmacy degree to our graduates. It is now my great honor to confer the degree that you have worked so hard to earn by the authority granted to me by the president of the University of Georgia and by the Board of Regents of the University System of Georgia. I now confer on you the degree of Doctor of Pharmacy for which you have been recommended by your dean and faculty with all the right privileges and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations. Congratulations on this moment today, and thank you for your commitment to promoting health here in the state of Georgia and around the world. Congratulations again. Thank you, Provost Hu. Graduates of the class of 21, please stand. You may now turn your tassel to the left signifying the completion of the Doctor of Pharmacy program. Congratulations. I am honored to introduce Dr. Terry Davidson to lead the recitation of the Oath of a Pharmacist. Let me be the first to congratulate each of you and wish you a very successful and fulfilling and rewarding career ahead of you. And the reciting of the oath of a pharmacist is an important part of the professional doctorate degree and unique to the health and human services professions. It is to ensure commitment to the highest level of practice and ethical behavior in the profession. I now request that our new doctors of pharmacy and any pharmacist in the audience to open their program and recite the pharmacist oath with me. We will recite the oath in unison. So those, I'll take a minute for let pharmacists in the audience, if they'd like to stand to take the oath as well. I promise to devote myself, we'll do this in unison, so ready, let's go. I promise to devote myself to a lifetime of service to others through the profession of pharmacy. In fulfilling this vow, I will consider the welfare of humanity and relief of suffering my primary concerns. I will apply my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability to assure optimal outcomes for my patients. I will respect and protect all personal and health information entrusted to me. I will accept the lifelong obligation to improve my professional knowledge and competence. I will hold myself and my colleagues to the highest principles of our profession's moral, ethical, and legal conduct. I will embrace and advocate changes that improve patient care. I will utilize my knowledge, skills, experiences, and values to prepare the next generation of pharmacists. I take these vows voluntarily with the full realization of the responsibility with what I am entrusted by the public. Thank you, and you may be seated. Thank you, Dr. Davidson. I would like to introduce Dr. Huang, our go and president of the Cause of Pharmacy Alumni Board to lead the alumni induction. How important is it to stay connected? Over the past year, how many times did you reach out to your family or neighbors to ask them how they were doing? Did your friends call to check on you? Though we were all sheltering in place, working from home, or self-isolating, we all shared one thing in common. We found ways to stay connected with one another. Pharmacists found creative ways to stay connected with their patients. Medication counseling was done primarily over the phone. Pharmacies never closed, yet extended hours shifted workflow just to make sure patients stayed adherent to their medication regimens. 
Staying connected to our grandparents and relatives was so important as for most of us, losing a loved one and not being by his or her side leaves us feeling very empty. The pharmacy school adapted quickly and held classes online, which eventually led to hybrid classrooms. The college held various virtual events for its alumni to stay connected. I attended my very first alumni event in 2009 as we celebrated our five-year class reunion. Then it was a 10th, and recently we celebrated our 15th class reunion. It was always so fun to reminisce with my classmates and watch their families grow over the years. I remember six years ago when our alumni director, Kim Hamby, invited me to join with the alumni board. Since then, I've really enjoyed reconnecting with our pharmacy alumni at homecoming events and networking with the current pharmacy students. I've had the honor to participate in several white coat ceremonies so that would make me a professional white coder. I also recall when Kelly Smith came on board as Dean of the college. She made me feel so welcome and it hasn't stopped. I've stayed connected with one of my classmates, Dr. Brian Seagraves, and now he's my mentor and my colleague. I can't begin to tell you just how proud I am to be an alumnus of the College of Pharmacy. This has been one of the best decisions I've ever made. As I come full circle with my journey from being a student, the alumni board president, and now a faculty member, you will be embarking on your exciting journey. So graduates, stay in touch with your classmates and stay engaged with the College of Pharmacy. As William James once said, we are like islands in the sea, separate on the surface, but connected in the deep. On behalf of the College of Pharmacy Alumni Board, you, the class of 2021, are now officially the new alumni of the college. Congratulations. Dr. Wong, Dr. Davidson, Dr. Hu, all of my esteemed colleagues on the stage and everyone here today who helped us celebrate this, Thank you. Thank you for the roles that you've played today and always. Together, we've created another golden memory, a true milestone for our newest alumni. Graduates, I have just a couple more words for you because you know that's what deans do. First, be proud of today, but be proud of all that you've accomplished. Express gratitude to those who have been an important part of your journey. Anticipate this next phase of your pharmacy adventure with joy and excitement. We are proud of you and we wish you much success and health in the years to come. Keep this college and university close to your heart. For once a farm dog, always a farm dog. Go dogs! Now we're soon gonna begin our recessional and I have a word of, of just a little guidance to our audience members. I do ask that if you would please remain at your seats. I know you're very anxious to get to your graduates and to get some more great photos, but if you'd let us all exit the room first and then I'd encourage you after that recessional then to meet your graduates outside. Class of 2021, I am proud to say you are dismissed.